Hello everyone, this is my top 17 favorite movies of 2017. I'm just going to go through my list quick. Number 17, War for the Planet of the Apes. I thought this movie was great and uh, it was it was very good, a lot of great special effects, great performances. But uh, I gotta say, of these three Planet of the Apes movies, the new ones, uh, my favorite one is still Rise. I thought that was such a fun movie and, and such a great summer blockbuster. Coming in at number 16, It, great movie. 15, Jigsaw, loved the twist at the end. That, that twist had me thinking about it for days after I saw the movie. I really wasn't expecting it, and I, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. Number 14, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Number 13, Wonder Woman. Number 12, Justice League. Um, I, I did enjoy Justice League a lot, but I feel like if Zack Snyder would have uh, had his version of the movie, it would have been much better. I don't think that the uh, the final cut that we saw in theaters was uh, was that great, but I, I still had a lot of fun with it, and I, and I loved seeing the characters, and I thought that all the actors did a great job. The special effects were terrible, though. I will say that the special effects in Justice League were terrible. 11. Logan. Awesome movie. 10. Captain Underpants. I grew up reading the books, and I thought this movie was such a great, fun movie. You could tell that they actually cared about it. They cared about Captain Underpants, and it was, it was great. It was fun. Number 9. Baby Driver. Number 8. Transformers The Last Night. I'm a huge Michael Bay fan. I love the Transformers movies. I thought this one was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was great. The IMAX 3D was fantastic, and the sound and everything was great. It was a fun movie. Some great special effects, some great shots, and uh, overall, I loved it. That was very fun. And I know people in the theater loved it too. People, people were talking about how great it was as they were walking out of the theater. So that's great. You know, families were enjoying the movie, and you know, I'm not the kind of person to just hate on a movie because you know that's what a lot of people do today. Is a lot of these YouTube critics and stuff. They they know that they get a lot of views if they upload a video of them just like ranting about a movie and screaming. Just enough of that, all right? It's you know I thought the movie was great. If if somebody out there doesn't like it. That's fine, all right? But you don't got to hate on it. You got to call people uh, that enjoy these movies stupid. There's a place for every single kind of movie. And I thought Transformers The Last Night was an excellent summer blockbuster. It was very fun. And, uh, you know, it, just, it was great. I really did enjoy it. I still think that Dark of the Moon is uh, my favorite Transformers movie. That movie was terrific. Dark of the Moon was just fantastic. Uh, number seven, Dunkirk. Fantastic movie. Uh, looked amazing in IMAX 70 millimeter. Very good. Number six, The Post. Steven Spielberg does it again. I loved it. I loved the story. I loved the cast. You know, Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep. Everybody did a great job. It was very, very interesting. And uh, it's great to see White Plains on the big screen again. Number five, The Greatest Showman. What a what a nice movie, really. A perfect movie to see around the holidays. Uh, you know, great uplifting movie, which we need more of. And uh, it had some amazing music. I really loved it and really, really loved it a lot. Number four, Jumanji 2. This movie was a huge surprise because uh, I thought the trailers were just okay. But uh, that was really surprising, though. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Like, one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. It really caught me off guard. It was just, it, you know, it was just great. And I loved it. I thought it was a great sequel to Jumanji. You know, it was, it was, it was pretty good. The special effects are pretty good. Everything about it was a well-made movie. I think that uh, Kevin Hart and Jack Black were just hilarious. Those two were just fantastic. Number three, Murder on the Orient Express. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Kenneth Branagh, a huge fan of that guy. The guy's fantastic. And uh, they shot this movie in 70 millimeter. So I'm hoping that they do more movies in 70 millimeter. But I thought this was a great movie. Number two, Spider Man Homecoming. As a huge fan of Spider-Man, I loved it. I loved this movie a lot. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was it was great. It was entertaining. The Vulture was fantastic. Spider-Man was great. You know, Tom Holland did a great job. I'm not a big fan of the suit, though, but that's all right. I, I still thought it was a good movie. Tobey Maguire is still my favorite Spider-Man, but I, I do think that this movie was very good. 
And number one, number one favorite movie of uh, 2017, Get Out. Fantastic movie. From beginning to end, it had the audience, you know, no cell phones were out, nobody was talking. It was just fantastic. It was, it was just very good. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It's one of those movies where you're at the edge of your seat for like the entire movie. So I, I really did love it. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a movie that you, it stays with you after you after you watch it. It was, it was actually a lot of funny moments in it, too, which, which uh, you know, it's, uh, it's expected from Jordan Peele. But uh, I thought it was great. It, was, it had a great balance of everything. Now, one movie that's not on my list is uh, Star Wars, The Last Jedi. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But um, honestly, you know, I'm not going to get into it or anything. But honestly, I was uh, very disappointed with the movie. I, I saw it Thursday night, the, the Thursday night before it came out. I saw it and uh, everybody was extremely excited. And, uh, you know, I was extremely excited. I don't read any reviews. I, I go into a movie expecting to love it. That's how I think everybody should do it. Because I know some people go into movies expecting to hate it like they do with the Transformers movies. But, uh, you know, I, I loved Force Awakens. I loved Rogue One. I like every single Star Wars movie. Even the prequels. I You know, I grew up with the prequels. I love the prequels. Attack of the Clones has always been my least favorite. But, that you know, it's still an enjoyable movie in my opinion. It was the first Star Wars movie I saw in theaters. So, there's you know, it's got a special place in my heart. So, you know, I definitely enjoy Attack of the Clones. But this movie, I gotta be honest, very disappointing. Um, a lot of things that were very weird about the movie. A lot of a lot of weird story choices and the plot I did not like at all. I didn't like certain things that they built up on The Force Awakens that just didn't add up to anything in this movie. Certain characters getting killed off like they were nothing. Characters that should have died that didn't die. And, uh, you know, Captain Phasma disappointed me. She was in the movie for like five minutes. Uh, General Hawks became a punching bag. He was a, he was a joke in this movie. And, uh, you know, I, I just I thought it was disappointing. And I, I feel like a lot of people thought it was disappointing when I saw it that Thursday night because a lot of people left the theater, uh, you know, talking about how disappointing it was. And, and nobody clapped. One person clapped and then they stopped because they realized no one else was joining in. Yeah, I definitely think it was disappointing. Uh, to me, this movie didn't really feel like episode 8, it felt more like episode 7.5. If anything, it's just a lot of the movie just it feels small. You know, it feels like a Star Wars fan film that just has a huge budget, but the the scope of it is just so small. And but ultimately, the movie just didn't really do it for me, and I was very disappointed. But I still saw it three times in theaters, and I'm able to enjoy it. There's a couple lines in there that I I really love, and there's some scenes in there that I really love. But overall, I just think it was a weak movie. When the Blu-ray comes out, I'm definitely going to get it, and I'm probably going to end up watching it a bunch of times. But uh, overall, I was very disappointed. I, I didn't like the uh, special effects. I thought it had a lot of CGI, and, the, and it wasn't always that good. There was a lot of errors in like the editing and, and things that made me think like, oh, well, why did this happen? Or you know, I think Force Awakens looked much better than this movie, and and uh, had Rogue One had much better space battles. I know that that they were talking about the space battles in the Last Jedi, like they were going to be the best, but I I think they're not. They're they're okay, but I thought Rogue One had some amazing space battles and and Force Awakens had some great practical effects, which this movie just didn't have that much practical effects. And and the ones that were there were okay, but nothing that we haven't seen before. But uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say about it. You know, uh, I know a lot of people that loved the movie. I know a lot of people that hated it. I know some people that are in in between. I'm in between. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. But uh, we'll see where they go from here. So that's been my list. Thank you for watching.